This is your showcase. Your showcase contains many of the props used in the new Price is Right Flaky Flick, that classic tale of the old South, Corn with the Wind. And our story begins with a young, tempestuous Southern glutton named Garlic O'Hara, sitting in front of her plantation and stuffing her face with whatever she could lay her hands on. Yes, eating was her passion. So much so that she was oblivious to the fact that both the Civil War and her face were about to break out. And now for a short course on the Civil War. The South had cotton, mint juleps, and generals who were very polite. The North had factories and generals who left their cigar butts around. In the end, the country was saved and General Grant buttoned his jacket. Anyway, the war left both Garlic and her plantation devastated. But in a very stirring scene, which you missed, she vowed never to go hungry, and so decided to grow her own food in a new greenhouse. The full-size walk-in Casamini from Casa Planta. With built-in ultraviolet protection, the Casamini greenhouse comes equipped with 16 square feet of redwood plant tables and built-in vent control. But the fact is that Garlic wasn't much good at growing her own food, so she resolved to find herself a husband who had plenty of food of his own. And she knew just the man, a prosperous meat cutter by the name of Rhett Butcher. Yes, Rhett had plenty of meat in his shop and had even bought himself something to put it in, a new freezer. From Gibson, a 15 cubic foot food freezer featuring full width shelves, door racks, slide out basket, and frost clear system from Gibson. And inside this freezer was $25 worth of agar ham and bacon. Treat your family to delicious agar. For over 100 years, ham and bacon have been their business. Yes, Garlic had found her meal ticket. And despite his reluctance, managed to marry Rhett and take him for all his meat and money. Why, with Rhett's dough behind her, she even rebuilt her plantation complete with new living room. In a bis-colored woven jacquard, the four-piece living room group has detailed backs, full upholstered legs, and detailed padded arms. This is the interlude group by Towncraft. Well, I'd like to say that Rhett and Garlic lived happily ever after, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. For you see, Rhett didn't like Garlic much, in fact, he never so much as kissed her until finally the dam burst. And in what was without question the dirtiest part of the book, Garlic dragged Rhett into their new... <laughs> I can't say it. Okay, but we're gonna get into trouble. Their new bedroom. An Italian Renaissance bedroom group, the Andorra, by White Furniture. The set includes a high poster headboard in beautifully carved cherry wood, a high boy dresser, twin mirrors, and two nightstands. Well, that episode convinced Rhett that the only thing to do was to leave home, which was all right with garlic as long as he agreed to leave her all that good meat. Will you leave me the beef? asked garlic. And since Rhett didn't much like beef, he said, sure, I'll give you the beef. Will you leave me the pork? Asked Garlic. And since Rhett didn't much care about pork, he said, sure, I'll give you the pork. But then Garlic asked if he would give her the ham. And it was then that Rhett saw the opportunity to utter filmdom's most famous line. He looked at Garlic and said, frankly, my dear, I don't give a ham. And this flaky flick showcase can be yours if the price is right.